people sometimes don't know um, why these tools is designed in this way and they cannot think effectively um, if they don't understand um, the theory behind and we can really um, think more about how we um, work with each other and solve problems together. So to create a better society. Hello, my name is Yingqing Chen, and you can call me Sherry as my English nickname. I am a second year doctoral student from the Department of System Innovation. And my research is about how people solve complex problems together um, in a discussion. Nice to meet you. I was born and raised in China, and I went to an, an international school. Um, and I also went to the U.S. to receive some education. And then I come back and I think, oh, Japan is so different um, from the culture I have experienced so far. Um, plus, I really like Japanese culture and art. That's why I decided to come and experience um, the society and the environment here. I went to the library a lot because my research is um, not only about engineering, but also um, involve some psychological aspect. So I need to go to a lot of different libraries to pick up the book I need. Um, before the um, COVID-19 pandemic, I came here almost every day um, because I always enjoy a quiet environment um, that can help me focus. Like actually, especially I, I like this table. Um, I've learned um, from the introduction that this table is more than 100 years old. So I, I can imagine a lot of students has been using them since long ago. So like I came here and I used them and I'm craving that I could be smarter after using them, hopefully. Like we are all um, student presenter uh, in a, uh, a post-COVID society a symposium, and we all propose our own research towards how to build a better society after the um, COVID-19 crisis. So from there, we knew each other, and um, the professors um, suggested, "How about you guys together and create something?" Then we we're like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" Um, from there, we propose this lighthouse um, concept together. Um, we want to connect the researcher um, within the University of Tokyo and grow together. It's a huge mission, right? <laughs> My research is about um, how people solve, uh, solve a complex problem together um, in a group work settings, like uh, mainly in discussions. Um, it's very interesting that uh, the psychologists um, have been researching about problem solving for so long, um, but that result hasn't been transferred um, to the system or um, the tools that can assist us um, in the daily conversation or collaborations. And of course, um, we can see some products already um, these days and we're using them for online collaboration. Um, but people sometimes don't know um, why these tools is designed in this way and they cannot um, think effectively um, if they don't understand um, the theory behind. So um, that's why um, I, I try to take the outcomes from cognitive psychology and educate or train people to think effectively so that when they interact with the computer or interact with somebody remotely, they can understand um, what is the most effective way um, to collaborate. Yes, as I mentioned, um, like my motivation is to reduce the barrier of uh, all kinds of problem-solving collaborations um, in the world. So I really hope I can focus my research 
uh, maybe make it into guidelines or book and make it accessible to the society and make people realize, okay, they're not just a single way of collaboration and we can really um, think more about how we um, work with each other and solve problems together. So to create a better society, yes. <laughs>